This is our Cash Collections Reporting Services dashboard that is presented through the PracticeIQ intranet site. As the name suggests, it focuses, is, focuses on cash collections and the receipts in the system by month. We have some top level KPIs, starting with a opening balance for debt in the system for the specific month, the receipts that have been entered, the total number of the receipts, the percentage uh, those receipts make up of the opening balance and closing balance, and then the closing picture of debt for the selected month. Just like any other reporting services format, you have the ability to filter the information further by choosing a different month, potentially, uh, a specific uh, matter entity, manager, partner, department, and also the ability to swap over group, uh, which shows the summary table at the bottom. We've also built in some smarts to simply interact with the dashboard to do that same swapping of groups. So if we want to show the detail table uh, by uh, department, we can, and we can swap over back to partner. The chart itself shows the month and the days and the receipts that have been received, the blue line here, tracking through the month. You have a comparison for the same period last year and also an indication of the previous month's invoices and where they were pushed into the system. So this is our cash collections reporting services format, focusing in on receipts for specific months. The PIQ cash collections Power BI desktop template uses exactly the same data set as we've just seen uh, used through our more structured reporting services delivery method. With Power BI, it allows us to add advanced visualizations and also allows you to interact with those. Pretty straightforward. We have a financial year selection. We have the ability to uh, filter the whole format with uh, by month. Uh, we have a chart along the top there, uh, which gives the days in the selected time periods. We have total um, amounts based on our selections in terms of the receipts been, uh, put into the system. And you can interact with all these settings. So if you want to focus in on a specific day and see how those react and uh, ratios across the different uh, attributes, you can. We have that breakdown of the client, partner, manager, and department, so you can see how the receipts fold into those. And we also have a list of debtors and the actual receipt amounts for the time specified over on the right-hand side here. So it's just a matter of clicking around the format, filtering it as you wish, and working with the receipt data on this cash collections Power BI template. As with all Power BI des desktop templates, you simply hit the refresh button to get the latest information going through into the format. Using the PIQ Excel template for cash collections, you have access to exactly the same information as you've just seen through reporting services and the Power BI offerings. Um, but it allows you to uh, interact with the data in this pivot form. You can expand and collapse levels, just like any other pivots. Uh, currently we have the uh, transaction date or the receipt dates along the, the column headings here, but you also have access to all the underlying structures and measures uh, that are available from our core offering um, within the OLAP database or analytical layer practice IQ point of view. So you can do things like add cash dates, for example, onto the columns. If you don't want granularity of the individual dates, but potentially want to see just uh, months and weeks, you can do that. You can also slice and dice by any of the attributes in the system, whether they be client attributes, matter attributes, or debtor attributes, and so on. And of course, you can add in additional measures and calculations as you wish, which just like any other practice IQ Excel template.